That scratch ain't bothering you. Yes, it is. That ain't no kind of music. At least I make a sound. Yeah, and it's a nasty one. Want to try again tonight? Might as well. it so much she had the German flu no matter how she done it oh no matter how she done it well no matter how she done it she done it just the same the women didn't like her and they called her out of her name. But the men, they loved her. Mm, it was a crying shame, no matter how she done it. No matter how she done it. Well, no matter how she done it, she done it just the same. No matter how she done it, 
she done it just the same. Yes, she did. You take it for a while. They make it all that racket again at two songs. Yeah, and all them people over there buying drinks and throwing their money after them dice and whatnot. Look, we got none of that here. You can drink your liquor. You can drink your cold can beer. You can drink your good whiskey. And you can drink your cool can beer. You can stay out all with your sweet gal, but Papa, don't you leave me here. I hear that wild ox moaning, looking for that Texas deer. Sounding good, huh? Sounds fine. Always has. Looking for that Texas deer. Not steer. much of a crowd. Not a crowd at all. Just some stiffs who want to drink themselves to sleep without the music waking them up. Y'all advertise. Got an attraction like Bertha, man? Singing is one thing, Slick. Whether people want to look at you while you do it is another. Got quite the number over the Tucson place tonight. Uh, sounds like it. Lots of young folks coming and listening to that boxer here. Don't see why we don't just turn our box on, let the folks feed it nickels like they do. The lady is singing. You Don't you leave me Didn't nobody come to listen to us, Slick? Come here, sweet daddy. Let me whisper in your ear. Like the man say, you can't argue with failure. You, you know why Slick here is like a preacher? Because he do all his best work on his knees. <laughs> Never mind him, he just drunk as well. I heard she put a, a ring through it, use it to drag him around the house. <laughs> Come on, no Tyrone, don't allow no scuffling here. How'd you give me an old lady help out with the groceries? Just got a sweet talk or something, give her a little poke every now and then. Now you, you, you gonna drink, Stokely, or you gonna lay up our back recovering from that busted head you're about to get? Gentlemen. Mr. Lila. Let's behave ourselves. Oh, what are you boys doing in here? Out, out. And what are you doing behind that bar? It's just for a minute. And 60 seconds, too long. Mason, get back there and take that child's place. You bring people their food. Don't be messing with their liquor. Nobody's eating. That's because nobody's here but these couple of lost souls. Haven't had an appetite since they give over to the devil. Evening, Maceo. Mm, you looking good tonight. Likewise, Miss Nadine. <laughs> what can I do for you? Oh, you know what you can do for me, sweet man. So many days. What would you like to drink? How many is that tonight? Don't dog me about that, baby. Not tonight. I don't want China Doll behind that bar. Uh -huh. She gotta help out. Not behind there. She doesn't. You know she's not supposed to get excited. Not much chance of that in here. Harvest hands are all crowded into Tucson's place. Young ones. You'll get some of them. Mm -hmm. They stick their noses in here, get one little snip of the music, and they're gone. Maybe that's the wages of sin. There ain't no sin happening here tonight, baby. And there sure as hell ain't no wages. Your God wants to chastise some sinners. He's best moving over to Tucson's. Got a whole ballroom crowded with him. He's not my God. He's everybody's God. I did ten meet one tonight. Viola Underwood found the Lord. Thought she found him last year when they come through. Well, she must have lost him again between then and now, because she come down that aisle tonight hollering in tongues. Spirit didn't move you, though. Not yet. 
Maybe it's too late for me. I can't believe his servant Alton stoked me. That poor man. Just not cut his credit off. If he gets it here, he drinks that paint peeler Willie Pettigrew cooks up back in the swamp. I'm going to say a prayer for that man. Say one for me too, baby. Outstanding, baby. Outstanding. You still got the voice. You think so? Ah. She'll die my spine just to hear you. Ty, I'm gonna be a little late Saturday. Don't need to come in if you don't wanna. I made other arrangements. Other arrangements? Try something new in here. You can't do that. Yes, he can. Yes, he can, darling. This is his place, and he can do whatever he wants. You'll know where to find me when you need me. Uh, put the box on now, Ty. Yeah, put the box on. I'm gonna crank it up some. See if we can draw some life in here. There it goes again. Electricity don't like that jukebox. Must be a short circuit in the juke here. Got to get the power company in here. Yeah, no, you don't. They turned out you saw last month. I don't want you sniffing around that spliced out Maceo, dear. It's nice in here. Kind of romantic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go out back, wiggle some things around. Don't you wiggle nothing around unless I'm there to see it. You don't worry, folks. Bar's still open. Evening, folks. Evening, Chef. <laughs> Your light's gone out. Looks like it. Don't know that that'd be a violation or something or other. He's just about to close up here. Hmm. Ooh, your wife been cooking? Not tonight. Went to a revival tent. Ah. I stood by there myself. <laughs> Them niggers were singing up a storm. Of course, I just come out here to look in on Toussaint. Had that shooting two nights ago. Lots of fighting in there. There is that. Of course, uh, me and old Toussaint, we got us uh, agreement. Huh? Them field hands start sucking down that whiskey, hopping them all up with music, there's gonna be some razors drawn. Of course, he only called me if it's a fatality. Never been killing here. Mm-mm, them young bloods no better than to mess with. And to mess with Tyrone Purvis? You got quite the reputation around here, Tyrone. People say you put some poor black boy in the grave. Just people talking. Uh huh. Well, you just remember, this is my county, Tyrone. What goes on goes on, cause I let it. Don't want nobody getting too big for their bridges around here. You folks have a pleasant evening. Speaking for yourself. You ain't had this club, Tyrone. What you think you'll be? You wouldn't be nothing. If that ain't true, then grits ain't grocery.
That's a terrible noise. Just northbound from Talladega. Sounds like it always does. Like a soul being carried away from this life. Come on in, darling. Before you get your death out of here. Look at the high sheriff ain't seen you crawl out that bus car. Does he come around here much? Only when he bored. You working that train? Yeah, Kansas City to New Orleans. What'd you get off here for? I got people here. How about you? Got tired of sleeping in the box car. Listen, is there a place to stay around here? Switch me shit right over there. I got a cot. And don't mind the rats now unless you got food on you. I can see you and a good meal been strangers for some time. Look here. Get into town tomorrow, find your knees something, tell them Shaq Thomas sent you. They know who you're talking about. Thanks. What's the name of this town? Name like that sounds like a good place for a musician. Only night I ever been in jail was a town called Liberty. Sun come up, you see where you landed. Well, you best be out that shed by first light. Just a weekday night work. Oh, the chicken man, or oh, the ice man, or oh, the liquor man. You should go on the electric company. Yeah, that's a big relief. You think about closing down? Biggest act in New Orleans. Got him a hit on the radio. They played here Saturday night. I figured I'd wait till Bertha May was gone and put him up. Here? You mean like in this room here? Yeah, you know the Tomcat Club in Texarkana? Big Jim Jamison's place. This place went out of business. Damn. And, and since Sam is gigging his way over to Tulsa, it means the date is open. Yeah, but you ain't never had no I, guitar. I'm having with... one now. He's just worried about getting his hunk everywhere in the county tomorrow. Payday Saturday, he's going to draw all them cotton pickers and soldier boys in here. Get us back in the black. They're going to take me down. It won't be without a fight. Guitar Sam at the Honey Dripper. <laughs> Man, this joint is going to jump. <laughs>
Somebody slipped in the railroad yard. Y'all can play that thing. Yeah, been doing it near by forever. What side of the tracks, Mom? The wrong side. For you. Well, what you doing here, then? Oh, <laughs> white folks look right through me. Besides, how much mischief an old blind spook like me gonna get up to anyhow? Where are people go for music around here? There's a couple of little places uh, just outside of town at the crossroads. The long walk? You in a hurry? How old is that box you playing, Pops? <laughs> Second one ever made. And the devil got the first one. How about yours? It's brand new. I made it myself. Ooh, brand new. Made it itself. I don't. That's right. So, these clubs. Old Tucson, he runs the Ace of Spades. They don't have no live music in there. And Pine Top Purpose, he runs the Honey Dripper Lounge. But he don't care nothing about no guitar. He won't allow one under his roof. That don't make sense. Well, when a musician put his hand to murder, nine times out of 10, a drummer done it. But Pine Top, he a piano man. Kill somebody? That's the story. But if you meet the man, you damn well don't be asking him about it. no mule in a long time. <laughs> I knew this was Alabama, but that's the Stone Ages, man. Where you from, boy? Memphis. Down on you vacation. Got in a piece of trouble up there with the white folks. Need to buy my time for a spell. You buying the time with them pills, man. Boss man gonna fire your ass. Ain't no worry about that. I'm a cotton-picking fool. <laughs> you a fool, all right. Where you from, Brother Bear? <laughs> Mississippi. Woo! And this here's a real step up for you. Folks around here has discovered fire and whatnot. <laughs> that trouble you in? Have anything to do with running your mouth? It had to do with somebody getting my nerves, and I had to deal with him. Must have been somebody kind of puny. As I recall, he was about your size. What's this place we at? Nearest town's Harmony. This is Mr. Silas Tugwell's place. You better get to picking. Cotton ain't going nowhere. The more you get first thing when the deuce to loan it, the more ways when it tip that scale. You live here too? You got my sympathies. What's the matter? I got a shock. I thought you used to work for the power company. I drove the supply truck. Guitar Sam ain't gonna be playing by no candlelight. I smell bacon. You must have burned your porky ass with that electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast ready. Where, where your mama? Y'all ready over to the mayor's? She told me to come here and make sure you eat something before you start running around. Mm. That is a sweet woman you got. You got one waiting for you if you want her. Who, Nadine? <laughs> she 
coming here every night making them cow eyes at you. She seems like the kind could smother a man. She makes all her own clothes. Yeah, darling, that's not the kind of thing a man cares about from a woman. Hey, hey, I'll fix it. You ain't done no such thing. You just decided to come back home. Decided? Yeah, just like you decided to switch off last night. You ain't even in the conversation. <laughs> Miss Nadine makes some good money, too. Sewing for people. That woman scares me. Last old boy to give her a tumble, nappy carpenter, she cooked for him. Fix him up all kinds of nice new clothes. I don't see no problem with that. Well, come four, five months, a man starts to. Oh, sorry, sorry, China doll, but this just the way it is. A man got needs. Looks like Nadine could take care of those too. <laughs> you eat chicken. Every morning, noon, and night for five months, you get a taste for a different kind of meat. <laughs> well, maybe I shouldn't be talking about this round, China doll. You ain't gonna say something I haven't heard worse. Well, Nappy goes out and has him a poke chop or two, let's say. <laughs> Comes back one night from Tucson's place feeling no pain and smelling like poke chops, the way a man will. Now, he falls out on Nadine's couch and commenced to snore. Wake up the next morning, find she had taken all his clothes off without him knowing it. That man was dog drunk. <laughs> Miss Nadine come back with a skillet in her hand, hot grits bubbling in it, says, baby, I got your breakfast. Oh, not this morning, Nadine, he says, sitting up. Don't think I could eat a thing. Well, then, she says, we can't let this go to waste, can we? And she dumped that whole hot, bubbling mess right in that man's lap. Ouch! <laughs> then she got busy with that hot iron on his head. Screams didn't bring the neighbors in. She'd have killed that man. You gotta admit it, though. Woman is an artist when it comes to that single machine. <laughs> Excuse me. Which one of you is, uh, Mr. Pontop? We ain't hired. I can play anything. Already got me a professional. Guitar Sam really coming all the way down here? That's so surprising. No, no. Uh, Mr. Shaq Thomas told me if I was to come You know back, Shaq? We, uh, tr we traveled together. When the last time you ate solid food, young man? Take it back and fix him something, John at all. Standing there, old, hungry eyed. Puts me off my breakfast. It's real kind of Must have come in on the northbound last night. It looked like he got the cooties, too. Storing them boxcar full of them. Never cared to travel that way. I was out there riding them rails between the wars. Hmm. Seems like half the country heading west rolled past the other half coming back east. Yeah, every one of us scraping for the next meal. It is the place. Y'all can tear things down, put things up. You got a lot of potential. It's bigger in here than it does from the outside. I help you, gentlemen? Oh, yeah, I'm just showing the man who's gonna run this place what he got. This is my place. Piano player, right? My name's Tyrone. They call me Pine Top Purvis. Pine Top Purvis. 
owe two hundred dollars. Lucky Hardaway up in Little Rock. You gonna get here? Fine top. We missed last month's rent. Uh, after this weekend. After this weekend. You're going to be the same raggedy-ass piano player who can't pay off his debts. Mr. Simmons here is going to be the new proprietor. Lucky, give me two weeks. Lucky, got a better offer. They can't do that. You don't think so? Whoa, whoa, now. What if we got our payments for him Monday? Saturday night. We, we can do that. Not just no taste. The whole 200. And I'm throwing 25 cent tip for his messenger boy. In the meantime, we're not open yet. That means y'all trespassing. Say enough, Mr. Simmons? I believe I have. Somebody could do something with this place. Wouldn't take a whole lot of work. We cleared over two hundred dollars that one weekend. Yeah. A couple years back, and we didn't have no roof here to get to with the playing meter. Well, they say he draws them like flies. Yeah, that's what they say. They say. First thing he does is go to the man that owns the joint, sticks out his hand, and wants that cash money put in it. Already sent 50 to his manager. How much you paying him all out? Another 100. We need to clear 300. But, but I figure is if we charge folks $2 to get in, then the liquor. What I'm saying is, lest he see that green up front, the man won't get off the train. What's that now? By the time you fellas run by, we're just about dry, him. Huh? Boss in? It's our own. Whiskey wagon come by. Y'all a day late. Yeah. Old man Tucson gonna chew you out. Uh, Tucson went over to another supplier upstate. Just got you, then we're over to the Army Base Service Officers Club. This, uh, $56. My, my credit no good anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what's your hurry? Don't nobody in their right mind sell liquor on credit, especially not to no dark town roadhouse. Well, well, this is like a special case, see? We got the harvest coming up. Soldiers at the base gonna be let off on me. Saturday night, ain't enough hooch in this truck to satisfy what we gonna sell. <laughs> you pay as you go. That's business. Hey, 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 look, you come back Monday, get paid, and take back every damn drop that I don't sell. Okay, we got Guitar Sam <laughs> lying up here. Man, what, what, what if, what if I, I, I throw in $5 up front for you fellas? Hey, man. Hey, hey, oh, come on, man. Everybody gives credit. It's the American way. Maybe we could buy some bus head from Willie Pettigrew. That's chair sniffing around here every night, laying my black ass in jail for good. Then what we gonna do? Got a load of liquor for Mr. Lucent Tucson. That would be me. I, I trust they got my check, all right? Don't suppose I'd be here if they didn't. Uh, I'll pull around to the back. We'll help you a little. This better be some Saturday night. Arkansas, how about you? 
We come here just after Mama met my stepdaddy. Not much going on in a little town like this. Well, they started up the training base again. Is that right? You been in the army? Uh-huh. You shoot people? I'll fix radios. They say this new war gonna be a short one. Might be, might not. I was to Japan. Yeah? What's the paper like there? Small. Yeah? About that high. Speak Japanese. You been to California? Los Angeles. Where they make the movies? You go to movies? I've been once. A fine looking girl like you ought to been all kinds of places. Well, I'm going to them. I just, first I'm going to beauty school when mama saves up the money. Then I have a portable skill. Like playing music. Well, my stepdaddy says that ain't a skill. It's an affliction. Oh, China doll, There's business in town. You're gonna help me with. And you, young man, you wanna point yourself west down that highway, about three miles. There's a mess of people working in the field. It's harvest time. You can stoop and pull. They got a job for you. And wash up them dishes where you go. What I need is for you to go get friendly with Luther, and then I just have it in. We can't just ask Mr. Skinner? Uh, Mr. Skinner don't want nothing from color folk, but they buy his goods and shine his shoes. Now, you go on ahead now. Tyrone. Well, just trying to hold it together. You got your beautiful young daughter with you this morning. Don't you be studying her. <laughs> I hear tell you to go on and put on a guitar man out at your place. Where you hear that? Oh, <laughs> the breeze. <laughs> well, this time the breeze know what it's blowing about. You better be careful, Tyrone. Cause you know what them guitar players are like. You be careful yourself. Fuzzy shot him in the shoulder. Three times in the side, yeah. That's the last time he shot him. Poor Billy up and died, up and died. Time is ripe, and the bill is past due. Now, you know Mr. Roosevelt would have done it already, only he died, and well, you know, they don't listen to Miss Eleanor no more. But Mr. Truman, he's starting to bend, especially now that we got this war heated up. Now, as Brother Randolph say, you got the Here strike. Here it comes. 
The gospel according to A. Philip Randall. <laughs> Tyrone, how you doing, man? Oh, got my nose above the waterline. All right. Oh, here my baby. What's up, Ty? How your mama doing, China doll? She doing fine, Uncle Shay. All right. Fine, yeah, I'm just telling doing? the boys here about how Brother Randolph pushing this deal while boys gonna be a full part of the service. I care to rap for in the Great War. You know, boys get in the middle of this Korean mess. They ain't gonna thank you for your efforts. <laughs> We want our full due in this country. We got to go ho ho. Black folks shooting, yellow folks to keep white folks happy. See, we need to move on from that kind of thinking. Move right on, Shaq. Uh, they didn't come back and tell the rest of us how it is. <laughs> That's a hard headed man. I had to ask Mr. Skinner. Of course you would. And while you're at it, remind him how one of the reasons color folks come here is to get the lowdown on what's happening. China doll. You gonna let us put up these posters, ain't you, Luther? Oh, I don't think there'd be any problem at all. That's awful nice of you, Luther. You looking special today. That's sweet of you to say. Uh, Maceo, you go on with the man here and show you where to put these up there. Mm -hmm. uh, darling, uh, uh, we got a lot more places to go. Nice to see you, Luther. Boy, eating out of your hand. Luther's <laughs> the only one that put my hair. He sat behind me in Sunday school. Well, I hope you got a little of that sugar left, because we got to spare some on Miss Bertha May Stribe. You going to ask her to come sing again? Well, I'm going to ask her for money. Uh, word is, she got a whole pile of it squirreled away. <laughs> Daddy. Hey, hey, come on, girl. We in a rush here. I got a rest. Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry, honey. Uh, you, you catch your breath, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so why, why Miss Spivey gonna give you money? Y'all don't let her sing at the club no more. Uh, I'm gonna make her partner. Partner in what? The honey dripper. But all you ever say is just a hole you pour good money into. It don't matter. I'm gonna make her proprietor. Trash. Like waiter and waitress. Uh, proprietress. She gotta like the sound of that. <laughs> Lovely ladies out to make a purchase. Is that the same guitar Sam is on the radio? The very one. What's he look like? Fine looking man. A real lady killer from what I hear. <laughs> Got that New Orleans style to him. Well, you gotta have a picture up there. We'll be getting some of those when he come in on the train. Main thing is, the man is electrified. And you know what that means. <laughs> okay. And we make like we just come by to see how she keep it. Okay. And then I kind of mentioned how I've been thinking of uh, bringing her on as a partner. Left the door open. She gone. Oh. Uh, when's she gonna be back? She just gone. I'm gonna go beside her. Find your mama. She know how to fix up the body. People laugh in the harbor. I've been with that woman 24 years. She gave me the only home I ever had.
What's your hurry, boy? No hurry. Take your hat off. Where are you headed? I'm looking for work. You're not from around here. No, sir. Stranger wandering around, no job. That would make you a vagrant. But I'm looking. I got a job for you. Get in the back. Another hand? Yeah, well, I caught this young fella in flagrant violation of the statutes. Gawkery with intent to mope. What's he gonna run me? Three dollars a day, plus you feed him lunch. Now, uh, the sentence, that all depends on how long you're gonna need to help. Well, I don't get any trot. Well, sure you do, boy, and the speedy one at that. Meet the judge, Judge Gatlin. Grab a sack. Dear, I believe it's about that time. Would you care to join me? No, thank you. No, of course you won't join me. You don't partake. That was thoughtless of me. Oh, that's all right. So, you don't take spirits and um, what else in your church? Well, I'm sort of between churches right now. Ah. Uh, I've been thinking about changing over to the holiness, but I, I haven't been sanctified yet. Ah. Uh. There's been a, a minister in this week. The dance over by the fairgrounds. Mm. Church I was raised in. Um, we were Pentecostals. They wouldn't have anything but the human voice inside the church. Dancing, any kind of dancing, music, car playing. It was very strict. They took up serpents. I heard of that. I tell Floyd these stories and he is, oh, he's horrified. <laughs> They've always been Methodist, Floyd's family. It can be a trial. Married folks differ in their religion. And your husband is a... Um... Unaffiliated. Unaffiliated, I see. But he has his social club. The Honey Dripper. That is such a colorful name. Yes. <gasps> So he, he must devote a great deal of his energy to it. It's just him and Macy O'Green runs it, and I go over and cook some after I get off here. Well, that's very supportive of you, can, considering the sort of environment. I've been in those ballrooms most of my life, Miss Amanda. I see. I was a singer. I met Tyrone in the paradise down in Shreveport. China Dog was only two. And I was just living along, you know, drinking more than I ought. And then Tyrone, like a light, come into my life. See, people think things because he owns the lounge. But they don't know him. And small minds are never in short supply. The people in this town. I suppose they expected that Floyd, being from a prominent family, as prominent as is possible here in Harmony, would have chosen somebody more. Uh, 
Well, in school, if you didn't have shoes, Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I was going through some of Emily's old things the other day. I thought this would look just darling on your china doll. Oh, I don't think that would near fit her, Miss Amanda. Well, how old is she now? Seventeen. Oh, my. I, I must have lost track somewhere along the line. I, Seventeen? It was a very nice thought. Mama, Mama, they need you at the... Oh, I'm sorry. Miss Amanda, I, I did not use home. China doll. We were, we were just recalling how you used to play right here under this table. There is any uh, cash money that I know of. She, she sold a good deal of the furniture, but there's still a nice looking couch uh, in there in the parlor. She didn't care about too much other than singing out the Pine Tops, please. You're welcome to look around the house if there's anything your missus might like. As long as it's not something personal to me and Bertha May. It's just, uh, she's got to go out in style. this job before. Can't say I have. You want to set your pins out wide, bend over at the hip, and don't be bobbing up and down all the time. <laughs> when you're up, be up. But when you're on the roll, stay down. But most important, you got to get a rhythm. Everything in life got a rhythm, even pulling cotton off the plant. Well, lay it out for me. Not my rhythm. Your rhythm. That's between you and the day and the work you got before you. Once you get it, don't let nothing or nobody push you off it. I'm going so slow. <laughs> you getting paid by the pound or by the hour? I'm not getting paid at all. None of us are. I suggest you work that into your rhythm, too. Let's see more picking and less talking over there. Getting right to it, Buck. Them boys frying over there. Oh, that's Judge Gatlin's game. He worked them people from can into can every damn day. And when the fields get picked, he bid them out to the neighbors. Harvest time come around here, you better sign with somebody fast or get out of sight. Hey, the pick of dust today. Why don't you get some water? Only thing wash out the dust is whiskey. Ain't enough whiskey in this world to wash out what I swallow in my life. What are we playing for? Two bits of hand. Woo! Right, that's awful steep, ain't it? Hell! I remember playing this game one night. Memphis is boss Crumpstown. Folks is gambling before they can walk. Caught me at Winning Street that cleaned out half the sporting men on Beale Street. Got up from that table, my money was long as train smoke. <laughs> well, what happened to him? I spent it all on fine looking women. Yo, Mississippi! Oh, his name's Hamilton. Hamilton! 
damn bone. You went in on this? Settle up on payday. That's your deck of cards? What if it is? I stay clear of it then. You insinuating? I'm just saying I don't want to play. Looks like dinner. A rabbit is a rodent. Man eat a rabbit, might as well eat a rat. Simple country nigga. Afraid to sit down and lose his little handful of change. Well, he, he awful big to mess with. Don't scare me none. I'm a stepping razor, man. I'm trouble on two legs. Yo, draw, Junebug. They'll be dripping no sweat on my car. who wouldn't have nothing to do with her when she was alive. Some of them, maybe. You still got to pay your respects. The speaker's gonna have to find him a new ride. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. That's how the man gets over it all. You know, sugar up to some woman who's got a job or a bankroll. That's no way to live. Just how it is in the world, baby. Man's got to walk through the gates of hell to get a piece of cheese. Not so young anymore. Lose hold of what little you got. If you lose the club, I'm sure you'll find something else. In this town, like what? You know, any time you want, I could get Miss Amanda to ask her husband. Watch your feet, Mr. Mayor. I just done mop the floor. Ty, you work so hard at the lounge, and with what you bring in, it's just not... Not even as much as you make polishing that white lady's silver. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. I will just have to work out then. Meeting gonna start and I'm not there. Your soul's not the one needs saving, baby. It's all gonna be fine, Daddy. Everybody in town talking about Guitar Sam coming to Harmony. As I walk along, along this highway, yes. 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 I was singing. Say amen. 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 Let the church say amen. 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 She left him standing out on the highway, wondering which way to go. The highway of life. Sisters and brothers, it will twist you and it will turn you. It will run you this away, yeah. and it will run you that away. Yeah. 
tempt you yeah. with many a detour. Because yeah. the highway of life yeah. is designed to lead us astray. Yeah. That's not the road we want to be on, brothers and sisters. That's, right. That's not the path we need to follow. Yeah. We need to be on that other road. Yeah. We need to be on that road that leads to glory. Yeah. We need to be on that road to lead to the right hand of God. Praise yeah. the yeah. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. That thoroughfare I'm talking about, <laughs> that righteous road <laughs> we need to travel yeah. is called the highway yeah. to heaven. Yeah. It is called the highway to heaven. But we need to know, sisters and brothers, we need to know who is walking beside you. You got to be wary of who is trying to hold you back from your journey. Because many of loved ones got to be left behind. Because you're either on the road or you're lost in the wilderness. You're either heading for glory or you're doomed for damnation. You're either with the Lord or you're with the devil. And there ain't no in between. No, no, there ain't no in between. Stockyards near the jail. Them flies. Of course, I had me in the cell in Georgia once. Six hundred men. Didn't have a window at all. Must have got caught hopping one of them freights. Yeah. Ain't no free ride allowed through Georgia. Mm -hmm. And the food there? Paltry. The paltry ain't the word for it. <laughs> Breakfast is a joke <laughs> and lunch is a rumor. And dinner was an antidote. <laughs> Oh, you got locked in that box. <laughs> or what, just like it? <laughs> well, in the morning, you hear the bing bong ring. Walk to the table, you see the same damn thing. All I'm going to tell you, fork a knife and a pen. If you say a thing about it, you in trouble with the man. Let, Let the midnight, midnight special shine its light on me. Oh, let the midnight special shine its ever loving light on me. You a singer, young man? Yeah, I'm a singer. I'm a guitar player. I'm gonna be on the radio someday. People gonna know my name. <laughs> you keep on thinking that way, young man. <laughs> If Judge Gallant don't choose to work you into your grave, you just may do it. <laughs> come out now, come out. If you ever go to Houston, don't you stagger, don't you fight. Cause the sheriff will arrest you. You're in the cooler for the night. He'll tie your hands together and he'll bring you down. Throw you in the Black Maria, penitentiary bound. Early this morning, 
I heard the lonesome church bell tone. Early this morning, I heard the low down church bell tone. Sand new, my birth of May was dead and gone. Never miss my baby. I never missed her until she left my door. I hear tell Miss Bertha May passed. That's right. Yeah, she lived it. Just like she sang it. You waiting on somebody? Ain't nobody on that train gonna change your luck, Tyrone. You're going to have to save your own self. What do you know about anything? Oh, nothing much. But I know you from way back. for a wayward sinner. She always seemed at peace with herself. The company she kept, the life she lived. I never know Bertha made to do hurt to a living soul. We're all hoping to see you get over and accept the Lord tonight, Delilah. I'm hoping so, too. You've been lingering at the threshold long enough, sister. 
Time to step ahead. Somebody getting over here? It's supposed to be. Well, what's the party's name? Uh, Sam, guitar Sam. Don't know his birth name. He coming here? Hmm? Yo, Matt! Guitar Sam get on this train? No, nah, man, he's in the hospital back in Little Rock. Hospital? You know music, folks. Whatever he was doing, he must have been doing too much of it. So, brother, maybe, uh, maybe come on in tomorrow, huh? Somebody didn't show up. We should have made you dumb instead of blind. <laughs> Don't get well no more I said I done had my fun If I don't get well no more My head is spinning I'm drinking and jazz and women every night. Don't make no difference now. Got so bad. I heard there was this old boy goes around pretending to be guitar Sam. Fill out the gigs he misses. Say he does pretty well for himself without him. Somebody we can find. Hell, I don't know. Just some story I heard. It must have been the first one. First what? Back in slavery days, they had the ones to work in the big house. Yeah. Might not have had shoes always. The pants didn't have no holes in them, and they didn't pick no cotton. House niggas. Yeah, that's how they called them. They had all their African kinds of instruments, drums, shakers, some kind of banjo thing, but the piano. They ain't bring no piano over on those ships from Africa. The piano was just sitting there in the white folks' big room, all polished up. I figured this first one, right? He must have passed by it. 15, 20 times a day. <laughs> Run the corner of his eyes over it. You see, he was there when they played. The masters, their, their minuets. <laughs> Him standing there with a tray of 
white people's food, pretending not to have a thorn in his head. But he, he watching them fingers. See, he, he watching them kids work. You see, this old boy, the, the first one, he know how to play all of them kinds of African instruments. I mean, he can play mud if you give him a key in the temple. Yeah, he got music in his head and his heart and every damn piece of him, there's music. And one day, the master's away. And he alone in that room with that piano. Yeah, watch out now. And he goes over. And he sits down on the bench. And he spreads his fingers over it, the way he's seen that minuet player do. And he thinks. Just to hear the cat play. Ace. I'm gonna lose my club. If old man Tucson find out you stole his liquor. You like to lose more than that. I got no more cards to play. If you was to go down to see Lucky Hardaway in person. I ain't kissing up to no cokey nose, cock headed asshole. What the hell that's supposed to be? Some kind of guitar. The guitar got a hole in it. That's how the sound come out. Oh, that boy must be three bricks shy of a load upstairs. Daddy, they go in and arrest him. Arrest who? Sonny. The high sheriff arrested him and sold him to Judge Gatlin. Sonny who? Sonny that was here yesterday morning. Sonny they got a screw loose. That's why they arrested him. Hey, Mix, play some on it. Make some noise there. It's electric. I can plug a chunk of stove wood in the wall and I get more music than you get out of that mess. No, man. No, man. It don't work unless it's hooked up to the juice. See? You got the juice. You don't need the hollow inside that box. The music just runs straight from the strings through the wire and out of your amplifier. Which is what this thing must be. Sonny said he fixed radios in the army. Sonny didn't do nothing but feed bed bugs in anybody's army. And some of them crawled in his head. I'm surprised he even got the wit to pick cotton. Judge Gatlin done bought himself a drooling idiot. What you gonna amplify a guitar for anyway? Dad. Unless you go sit over on your chair and play those old little Charlie Christian types of riffs. Aside, man. Sit over there looking all clean and polite. Now the guitar ain't been up front since those old piss and moan blue shouters sit their blind asses on the corner hollering for pennies. Old time music. Daddy, Sonny didn't do nothing to get arrested for. He was just looking for work. They hung colored boys for less than that, darling. Lease on the work, gang. They feed him, keep his strength up. But he doesn't belong there. You know, guitar Sam plays him an electric, but I don't think it's, uh, it's this no hole kind of deal. Hope he plugs it in the wrong socket some night and electrocute his sorry no show ass. Mace, now if he showed up here 
and our power went out again. Well, it was planned. No, uh, I'll fix it good this time, Ty. It, so he comes out, and, and he plugs his axe into the wall. He come out looking good from what I hear. Yeah. All kinds of spangly pants and jackets. Got his name spelled out on the back. <laughs> and, 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 and the clothes, right? They all slick and shiny. Flash them gold teeth at them gals. Got this sax man behind him. Maybe, maybe a piano, harmonica, and drums. Hey, you remember that night at the Esquire Club uh, when the lights went out in Mobile? Yeah, they took off with the gate. <laughs> Stole the hey, damn register right off the counter. Hey, they didn't hold Reggie Porter for it, did they? No, they knew it was this place got robbed. Hey, I, I, did nobody hold it to Reggie Porter? And nobody expected their money to come back. Oh, because they was too busy diving for the pot and that tunk game got interrupted. And, and no, nobody suspected that it might have been Reggie Porter himself, himself, that put a lace. No. Mm -mm. No, Ty. Mm -mm. No. No, 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 no. Now. Tell the dog. You mind the place till we get back. Hey, come on, Mason. Where are you going, Daddy? I promise the people get to our cell. And they go get get to us there. Come on, Mace, let's get out of here. We got work to do. Why are you so interested in this boy? Got a job for him. You must be doing pretty well for yourself out there, Tyrone. You hiring new people, huh? Passing well, yeah. But this boy. Name is Sonny. Uh-huh. Well, he's paying off his debt to society right now. If I was to pull him out of the field, uh... Judge Gatlin paid three a day for prison labor. You willing to pay four for the duration of his sentence? Which might be. As long as I care to make it. Well, I was counting on uh, more of a one-time deal. If I can rent him out just for the weekend. Fifty dollars. It's not just the money. There's legalistic principles involved here. Public safety issues. I pay you Sunday morning. You gonna pay me now or you can forget about it. I don't have it now. Hmm. You think you're too smart for the rest of us, don't you, Tyrone? Think you can go it all by yourself. You'd rather eat roof and nails than come to me for a favor now, wouldn't you? It's not a favor if I gotta pay you for it. Oh, you're gonna pay all right. If you don't hand over that money to me by Sunday morning, you got yourself a new partner. Same deal as I got with Toussaint. And that wife of yours. Delilah? Mm hmm. Them fried chicken sandwiches? If I was to come by now and then and check in on my interests? She'd be happy to fix you whatever you want. Good. Because my wife's cooking with gag of maggot. Different people got different kinds of talent. Yeah. Well, Lurleen ain't discovered what hers is yet. Let's go fetch that boy. Is this the one you want? Mm -hmm. You got any ideas about running rabbit on me? Best get rid of them now. You paying my way out? To Monday. How come? You like dragging that cotton sack? No. They don't ask questions.
this size, right? But it's got to shine. And when you need this? Uh, tonight. Well, it's a tall order. It's got to happen. You know, I do my best work, my fastest work, when I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you do. <laughs> You gonna make me happy, babe? Uh, you come down by the club tonight. <laughs> we having a special show. Tell them at the door. You my guest. Food ain't the only thing a woman needs three times a day. Wouldn't hurt you to skip a few meals. What's that, baby? Um, that boy gonna need time. Try this jacket on, see how it feels. <laughs> Later, Nadine. Sam look like, but it ain't this. I can try. What exactly I'm supposed to do? Uh, you're going to stand up there with that contraption you got and, and play guitar Sam's numbers. How do I do that? My eyes closed. Well, if we can get the audience to close this, we'll be better off. Ty, I tracked Mr. Trenier down. <laughs> Let's hit it. There, on the air. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> You know what you're doing? I fix mama's hair all the time. But you ain't been to that school yet. You go to school to learn your guitar? <laughs> nah. I might pick up some bangs at beauty school, but mostly it's for my certificate. And that is a ticket to adventure. That's what it says in the brochure. People looking for beauty all over the world. You know, watch out for them wires sticking down. I don't look safe. Yeah, power's always going out. People getting shocks and whatnot. Well, somebody ought to fix it. Career and beauty is like money in the bank. Says that in the brochure, too. Plus, it isn't physically taxing. Yeah, can't see no pretty thing like you behind a plow. I had the rheumatic fever when I was little and left me with a weak heart. Oh. You might have been acting kind of funny, too. About since I laid eyes on you. What's that? Just some old moonshine they keep around. What you gonna do with it? They joke about how this stuff will straighten your hair right out. I'm just make yours relax a little. Mr. Time Trenier <laughs> has a name to be reckoned with. <laughs> Story goes you used to play with Buddy Bolton. I played with them all down there. And King Oliver. One band falls apart, you find yourself another. There's never a shortage in bands down in New Orleans. I, I didn't know you were giving lessons. It pays the rent, almost. Yeah. Are you interested in a playing job? If you can pay, I can play. You got to dress sharp. It, it ain't like an all-night thing. You just got to start out, and then it's going to be an accident. An accident? Yeah, uh, something lost the power. <laughs> Lights out. It's your gig, man. Eight o'clock. I mean, this ain't no color people's time, uh, and sure ain't New Orleans time. I mean, eight o'clock on the money. If you got the green, I'm on the scene. Then that's a deal. You, you know any drummers? I'll bring you one. Uh, uh, nothing fancy. Just as long as you keep time. Time is my name. One on 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Make your mark here, please. Owe me 30. Books has 28. Dollar 50 every hundred pound. And I pick. Two dollars deducted for stones. But there were no stones in the sack. We mail the cotton, son. There's always stones. But there were none in my sack. We take off two dollars a week for stones. And that's the way it always been. Ain't that right, Jimbo? Um, yes, sir. Been that way my whole life. You gonna take your pay, son? You gonna give it up to charity? Wouldn't let nobody mess with my money like that. They took the same two dollars off yours. Yeah, but you could pay the highway with the rocks I threw in that mess. You country Negroes let the crackers run you like dogs. The sheriff wasn't here. I snapped your neck, boy. Don't let me stop you. But first, you're going to sign that ledger like you're supposed to. Don't want nobody crying they didn't get their due. and walk the straight and narrow like those Bible thumpers you sit up with. But until that day, I'm not... Cutler was right about you. First seventeen. Purpose? People call me Ty or they call me Pine Top. Is Mr. Pine Top to you? I just want to tell you I appreciate the opportunity. Right. I know everyone in guitar singing songs. I know the chords. I know the words. China Doll was saying how you was famous once. I was known, but never what you call famous. How'd you get your start? <sighs> Down in Mobile, I was an old cat house professor. Name of Joe Dudlow. He had had a stroke on one side. And curled them all up and kept on plugging. I used to come out and play his left hand for him. Just one night, it was going hot and heavy. Joe just passed right at the piano in the middle of Black Bottom Stomp. They propped him up at the bar. Stuck a drink in his hand. Told me to keep 
pounding those ivories. There was some needles hanging over them two joints. There was murder in the air. Stop playing for a minute. Come down on you like a flock of crows. Hey, it's you. Big Bear and Dave's on the road. Reginald Erskine. I'll leave a hire to him. Big tall, light skinned fella out of Carolina. And said he was football Cherokee. Yeah, couldn't play nothing, but he, he waved a little stick and he had just long, greasy hair. He'd throw it around like Cap Calloway. <laughs> and you were the piano man. <laughs> piano man, a ranger. You name it. That must have been something to travel the country first class. I don't know about first class, but they've seen the country. How come he stopped? I got tired of carrying another man's water. Didn't want to die in no colored hotel some night in who knows where, Arkansas. Delilah. I wanted something of my own. We don't have nothing to worry about, Mr. Pine Top. I won't let you down tonight. No, I, I don't suppose you will. You gotta choose. You gotta choose between the fire and the light. You gotta choose. You gotta choose between the fire and the light. Oh, you sit up. You gotta choose between the fire and the light. It's gonna make it alright. Oh, you know. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come Counter, but you out here all alone. Just get the liquor moving, mate. And keep the money where you can run with it. 
The Lord don't want nobody to sit back and suffer. He wants you to stand up. He wants you to rise up. He wants you to step forward and come down to the merciful arms of his eternal salvation. That fire is heating up brothers and sisters, and the judgment day is nigh. Anybody out there tonight, I want to answer his call. Anybody out there tonight is going to step forward and be saved. Ain't no time to hesitate. Got to come on down and offer yourself to the Lord. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, sister. I believe you hear the Lord's voice talking to your sister. That's the Lord's voice, and I believe you hear it. I do believe you hear it. Come on down. Bring it on down to his salvation. Feel the Lord at your back. You got to leave them sinners behind. Come on down. Hey. Come on down. I see your sister coming. I see the Lord is talking to you. I hear the Lord is talking to you. And I believe you hear him, sister. Come on down. You hear the voice of the Lord. You hear the voice of the Lord. That voice is trying to tell you where you need to be right now, sister. All you've got to do, all you've got to do is move your feet and get there. Move your feet and get there. You look good. Yeah. You look good, don't you, Daddy? Yeah. Hey, honey, I need you to get right by that front door take over collecting the cover charge. If anything happens, go wrong or something, will you just step out and walk away from the club, you hear? What's gonna go wrong? Well, um, I'll get to Sam here, get some soldier boys jumping, and get a little rough in here. Just stay on your toes, that's all. Okay. All right. Hey, China Dog. You know there ain't a thing in this world I wouldn't do for you. Even if I mess up sometime. You know that, right? I know that, Daddy. You're gone now. <laughs> well, you look like something that would come out of New Orleans. I forget to tell you, I uh, fixed your hookup. My what? Your hookup, where your electricity comes in? It was all hey, Got the situation out there. You don't think I know that? Got the law in the house. <laughs> Didn't think we'd be seeing you so soon. Got a real nice crowd here tonight, Tyrone. See them army uniforms? Yeah, we got ourselves uh, this uh, special attraction you see in uh, chicken. Them ribs outside smell real good, but I'm afraid my heart set on some of your wife Delilah's fried chicken. Right. She made it last Saturday at the mayor's, but old Clayford Gentry came up from your file and he ate all the drumsticks. I'm partial to dark meat. Uh, the situation we got now. Uh, she, yeah, well, she is in the back there cooking it, isn't she? Maybe if you would come back here a little bit later. Regular or spicy? They both take the same time to fix up. I just gotta know which. Uh, I have to make mine regular, I'm afraid, ma'am. Uh, spicy's just fine, but uh, it always comes back to nip at me later. <laughs> it's important not to bite off more than you can chew. Yeah. Well, you just make yourself at home. Good luck tonight, baby. Slap some mayonnaise on it. Uh, I, you you want to wait over there, Chef? Don't want to scare off the customers. Here he comes. So, here's what. You
what you've all been waiting for. Noted performer and recording star, direct from New Orleans, Louisiana. He is Guitar Sam. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Uh, once I got kicked on the train. We're gonna play this one for you slow and tight. They did the boogie real slow with the blue lights way down low. They did the boogie real slow with the blue lights way down low.
150 and there's another 50 in here. Lucky Hardaway don't mind some change, does he? What if Mr. Hardaway were to say let the chumps kick their change? He wants a club back one way or the other. How'd that be? Well, you gotta take that up with my business partner. The sheriff your business partner? Yeah, and he's twice as mean as he is ugly. <laughs> you must want this club off the bag, brother. Maybe y'all already know this, but that ain't no guitar saying. I know Sammy since he was drinking his mama's milk. And hell, I know his mama, she lived up the plank of mine. And you ain't him. What's uh, Creole Sammy talking about, Pops? Delta guitar, Sammy. As long as we straight on that. Hey, man, get on out of here let the man play. <laughs> I'm gonna play one for you right now that I come up with today while I was having my hair cut. Can't get you off my mind. Oh, child, Can't get you off my mind. Well, if you're gonna be my baby, leave all the mothers behind. about you day and night Oh, child of God Think about you day and night Oh, hold you, baby When you're gonna treat me song written about you two killing each other. And don't nothing rhyme with Moncrief anyhow. We got a problem here? Yeah, these two gentlemen seem to brought something in for our collection. Yeah, you first. Now yours. 
Y'all still want to mess with each other? You go outside and do it. This world is full of people that no use for us. Like to see us in the grave. We don't need to give them any help. That boy can play some. Leave it. I ain't needed around here no more. Where you hit? Oh. Down the road. talking to out here? Just myself. 